it happens to everyone. Waiting in line for your morning coffee, you scroll social media and news on your phone. What you find depresses you. Thousands of migrants are fleeing a civil war, risking their lives only to be turned back at borders. Speculations have sent the housing markets into a frenzy, and employment numbers are tumbling down. Journalists have uncovered a decades-long cover-up of child abuse by coaches and doctors within competitive gymnastics in your country. Closing the news app, you open your family group chat. Maybe one of your siblings has posted something funny, and at this rate, you could use some cheering up. The group chat has blown up overnight, and what you see makes your heart sink. Bushfires are raging again, and there's one burning only two suburbs over from where your cousins live. Everyone is frantic with worry. At this point, you walk away, coffee in hand, tense, miserable, and confused. You think, this can't go on. Something needs to be done. Someone needs to step up. We need a plan to fix all this social injustice, economic chaos, and environmental destruction. This is where the Sustainable Development Goals, or SDGs, come in. Fixing the kinds of problems that bring your entire day down in the morning coffee line can't happen in just one way. The SDGs cover sustainability from different angles, socially, economically, and environmentally. They set global goals for the three Ps, people, planet, and prosperity. The SDGs form the heart of the 2030 Agenda, an action plan adopted by all 193 countries of the United Nations. They call for decent jobs, quality education, good health, gender and income equality, clean energy and water, biodiversity, and climate action. They aim to reach sustainable development by 2030. Governments play a key role in achieving these goals, but they're not the only players. Businesses, civil society, indigenous leaders, academia, and the general public all contribute as well. You might wonder where they came from. The SDGs were born in 2012 at the Rio Plus 20, a UN conference on sustainable development in Rio de Janeiro, which was the largest conference ever held by the UN. Until 2012, there were different international agreements that dealt with environmental challenges such as climate change and biodiversity loss. And there were the Millennium Development Goals, MDGs, that aimed to achieve certain social targets in developing countries by the year 2015. The countries meeting at Rio Plus 20 decided that a more comprehensive set of universal goals was needed to tackle the urgent social, economic, and environmental challenges facing the world. This kicked off the broadest consultation ever run by the UN. An unprecedented effort was made to get input from as many people as possible, particularly those who don't often get a say in international agreements. Over 10 million people around the world participated in the consultations and helped shape the SDGs. Apart from national governments, major stakeholder groups that were consulted included women, children and youth, indigenous peoples, NGOs, local authorities, workers and trade unions, business and industry, scientific and technological community, and farmers. I am pleased to share some good news for people and planet, UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon said to a packed room of press delegates. The good news? After three years of negotiations and debate, 193 countries had agreed to a set of development goals more bold and ambitious than anything that has come before them, the SDGs. The due date for the SDGs is the year 2030, which makes the 2020s the decade to deliver. But how can we know if progress on any of these monumental issues has been made? The 17 SDGs are built on an evidence-based framework of 169 quantitative targets and 232 indicators that accompany them. This ensures that the SDGs are clear, concise, time-bound, and measurable, which helps governments and decision-makers to include the SDGs in their planning. This means that we can keep track on each of the SDGs' progress. To achieve the SDGs, all countries are expected to set up policies and investment plans, and to use the targets and indicators to track their progress. They then report their progress to the UN. This is done through voluntary national reviews, BNRs, with a selection of countries reporting each year. Most countries, including Australia, have already submitted their first VNR. Governments are crucial in achieving the SDGs because they create and finance policies that support the goals. But all stakeholders have an important role to play. Industries and businesses in finding solutions for goods and services that align with the SDGs, and communities and individuals in supporting SDG initiatives and in holding governments and the private sector to account. Education, research and innovation are all essential to achieve the SDGs. So universities, with their ability to create and disseminate knowledge and solutions, play an absolutely vital role. You can probably already tell that reaching the SDGs will be no small feat. 
all responses, from the global to the national to the local, even down to the individual, need to be coherent and aligned. But progress to date has been slow, so that it becomes very clear now that a much deeper, faster and more ambitious response is needed from governments, businesses and communities. Many experts say that in order to achieve the SDGs, we need societal transformations now that are unprecedented in human history and which represent a profound departure from business as usual. You may feel like the challenges are too big and too many. After all, you're just one person. But think about it this way. Every time you spend money, you have an opportunity to spend your money better. Every time you talk to someone, you have an opportunity to challenge their ideas for the better. You can seize these opportunities every day, 365 days a year. And of course, every couple of years, you have the opportunity to vote for the better. Not just in national elections, but in local ones too. That is an immense potential that lies with you and every other individual. The SDGs give us a roadmap for making the right choices and arriving at the right answers. Don't forget, together we are 7.8 billion people. Together, we can make big changes happen.